Hello, fourth grade. I'm just going to read through your assignment for Monday in social studies. This lesson is titled World War I and the 1920s. Your objective is to know about the events that changed life in the United States and in Indiana in the early 1900s. I'm going to begin reading on 118. In the early 1900s, people in Indiana and the entire country faced challenges. A major war broke out in Europe. Should the United States join the war? Many women in America wanted the right to vote in elections. Would they gain that right at last? Both the country and Indiana would go through many changes during this time period. World War I. When World War I started in Europe in 1914, the United States was not involved. Many Americans believed the country should stay neutral or not choose a side. Then German ships attacked U.S. ships that were carrying supplies to Germany's enemies. As a result, Congress declared war on Germany in 1917. There were two sides in the war. The United States joined the Allies, which included Great Britain, France, and Russia. President Woodrow Wilson selected General John Pershing to command the American forces in Europe. The opposing side was the Central Powers and included Germany, Austria-Hungary, and Turkey. The caption for the photograph reads, Many soldiers from Indiana fought in the 84th Infantry Division during World War I. Now on to page 119. The caption for the photograph reads, based on each picture, oh, I'm sorry, that one's not actually telling you, but the caption for the photos at the top read, during World War I, Americans, including people from Indiana, served both away from home and at home. All right, now on to the reading of 119. The United States needed soldiers to fight in the war. In May 1917, Congress passed a law creating a draft. A draft is a system in which men of certain ages are required to join the armed forces for a certain period of time. About 130,000 Hoosiers served in the armed forces in the war. Most were drafted. Others volunteered for the military. Samuel Woodfill of Jefferson County, Indiana, was a first lieutenant in the U.S. Army during the war. He earned the Medal of Honor for his bravery. His commander, General Pershing, called him the most outstanding soldier of World War I. Most of Indiana's soldiers were sent to fight overseas. It was a tough war to fight, especially due to strategies used, such as trench warfare. This meant that soldiers fought from trenches or long, narrow ditches. Soldiers lived in these trenches day and night. Some women also volunteered for war service. They were sent to France, where they served as nurses and telephone operators. And then in the bottom of 119, you have a caption and a photograph. Hoosier Samuel Woodfill earned the country's highest military medal for his bravery in World War I.